ko, sa experience ko, I think my estimate is 80% of my test questions are select all that apply questions. And may mga questions doon about pregnancy, about pediatrics, about botulism, tsaka nuclear weapon, na hindi ko siya maintindihan kung bakit siya kasama sa exam. Habang sarili ko, oh my God, nag-stop na yung computer. I think, uh, I think I failed. Kasi, imposible may pasa ko yung kasi. Hello everyone, welcome back to Kegel TV. Uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, katabi ng subscribe button actually sa gilid niya, pero siyang parang bell button. That's, that's uh, notification bell button. You can click that one para updated ka kung mga uploads ako. So, sa mga hindi po nakakayala sa akin, my name is Ryan, also known as Queer Ryan sa Facebook. And since nabanggit ko na rin yung Facebook, sa mga hindi po nakakalam, lalo na po sa mga bago sa ating channel, meron po tayong Facebook group uh, na kinreate ko uh, less than a year ago. Uh, para po yun sa mga tao na may mga gustong magtanong kung paano mag-migrate ito sa Canada, kung paano ako nag-pursue ng nursing dito sa Canada, at yung mga steps na ginawa ko from being a living caregiver to... Uh, nursing attendant, to li licensed practical nurse, hanggang sa naging isang registered nurse. So, you can always message me. Ilagay ko yung link niya sa description down below. Kapag di nyo nakita yung link sa description naman below, isa lang ibig sabihin nun. Nakalimutan ko siyang ilagay. Pero, it's www.facebook.com slash kegeltv which is, which is also our YouTube channel, kegeltv. So, pag nakalimutan ko parang ilagay yun, guys, dito yun sa gilid. Meron dyang icon sa gilid na dyan, dyan ko mismo nilalagay para mas madaling, uh, mas madaling yung may, uh, mas madali nyo siyang maalala. So, yun guys. Yan siya na. Meron akong brain fog today. Hindi ko alam kung, hindi ko alam kung bakit. Actually, today uh, is my last day sa training ko sa emergency. Uh, four weeks in training. And then, it's very, very uh, draining. It's, I, I was overwhelmed actually. I was overwhelmed. I was, it was mentally draining. Ang daming topics na kinover within that four, uh, four week period na hindi ko alam na kailangan kong malaman and kailangan kong ma-put into practice in the next few months kasi this is only a temporary line so nandito ako sa line na to for 8 months so hopefully in the next few shifts na nasa floor ako is makuha ko na yung panang flow ng, uh, ng emergency Anyway, so guys, gagawa tayo ng sit-down video. Uh, dapat gagawa ko ng sit-down video dun sa may wall dito sa gilid ng aking kwarto. So, pagpasensyahan nyo na yung setup natin for today. Kasi nakalimutan ko kung saan ko nailagay yung aking tripod. So, ang ginagamit kong tripod ngayon dito sa pinapanood nyo is yung aking portable tripod sa so, panag-vlog ako. So, nilagay ko na siya dito sa ledge ng window. And... Hindi ko alam kung okay yung lighting niya. Hindi ko alam kasi wala, wala pa rin akong ring light. So binuksan ko lang dito yung ilaw ko dito sa kwarto. At hindi ko alam kung okay yung sounds nito pero ipupush ko pa rin to. Kasi nanonood si Mami Daddy sa baba ng It's Showtime. So hindi ko alam kung may background music pa o background noise na pwede maka-apekto dito sa aking uh, voice. Quality, di ba? May ganun. Voice quality. But anyway guys, sa mga bago sa aking channel guys, naglagay ako ng poll question last week. And ang tanong ko sa inyo guys is kung ano ang gusto nyo topic na gawin kong next. So, four choices yun. Uh, sabi ko, you want more vlogs? How I pass NCLEX or my NCLEX RN story? How I started as a caregiver na naging RN or the healthcare aid salary? 35 yung bumoto. Uh, I remember when I started uh, vlogging, either one or two. One or two yung baboto, tapos walang mag-like. So parang, for me, it's a big, parang, parang achievement sa akin na ang dami-daming nanonood na ngayon na aking channel, which, noong umpisa sabi ko, ang hirap talaga, it's a struggle. Lalo na kapag ikaw is isang small YouTuber, nanonood nyo to, alam nyo yung struggle niyan. So, I'm very, very happy kasi malaking turnover ng votes na pa nagpapusa ko lagi ng mga gantong mga poll questions sa ating community tab. Sa mga hindi po alam, nakakaalam ng ating community tab, sa so kung saan siya makikita, sa homepage ng Kegel TV sa YouTube, meron doon may mga icon sa harap. Parang mga tabs siya. Tapos meron siyang community. Pag kinilag mo yung community, nalat yung mga polls ko. Tsaka yung mga updates ko. 
At kung wala naman doon guys, meron din akong Facebook and documents na pinapost yun. Uh, yun. So without further ado, let's start. Ang topic na pinili nyo po guys na gawin ko ngayon is my NCLEX story. Guys, before I begin this NCLEX story, gusto ko sana mag-start ng isang napakagandang quote mula kay Dr. Kalam. Yes, it's true. It's, I think he's, uh, he's from East India. And sabi niya sa quote about failure and about success is this. So if you ever fail, never give up. Because fail means first attempt in learning. That is fail. Okay? And is not the end. In fact, and means effort never dies. I've failed many times myself, guys. I've failed in few interviews. I've failed in exams and quizzes. But never give up. Uh, alam ko para sa, 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 sa mga iba sa inyo guys na matitake ng NCLEX ngayon pa lang, naiisip nyo na na oh, hindi ko kaya. Believe in yourself, kaya nyo yan. If you've taken the NCLEX before and you failed, it's okay. It's okay to fail. Uh, and so what? Kung bumagsak ka ng first take mo, it doesn't matter. So what matters most for me is yung drive, yung drive mo, yung perseverance mo para makuha yung success. It doesn't, for me, I don't count the failures. I count the success. Okay, guys? So, uh, just a little bit of history about myself, guys. Wala akong nursing experience sa Pilipinas. And, uh, nagpunta ko ng Dubai as an occupational health nurse. So, as a first responder, iba yung experience ko sa mga taong nasa hospital. Yung, first, yung experience ko as a first responder sa isang construction company sa Dubai, it's very, 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 very minimal, very limited. I do bandaging, I do first aid, I do uh, like mga kumari, may mga metal objects or may mga, what do you call this? Uh, may mga, may mga foreign materials sa, sa, sa mata or na stuck sa skin. I do all those first, uh, uh, I, I, I do all those first aid. Pero when it comes to like medical surgical ob mental health community i have no experience at all pero look at look at me i am now an emergency department nurse which which is very very like in my parang di ko siya up until now guys di ako makapaniwala na oh na this is my dream like to become an emergency room nurse or medical department nurse and Hindi ko na malayan na unti-unti ko na palang nakakamit yung dream na yun. Little by little. I, so when I, when I came to, uh, when I came to Dubai, I worked there as an occupational health nurse, health nurse for two years. And then I moved to Canada. And there's no other opportunity for me aside from being a living caregiver. I started as a living caregiver. I worked there for two years. Moved in to become a healthcare aide. Uh, tapos naging LPN ako and then finally I did my RN online. So everything is worth it, guys. Little by little. So wag mo masyadong pilitin yung sarili mo. Make sure you give yourself a break too. So when I took my NCLEX exam, ganito yung nangyari guys, no? So mamaya na tayo mag tips-tips muna. Kwento ko muna sa inyo paano nangyari nung NCLEX ko. So I graduated December 15. Hindi ako, sa parang, hindi pa ako sure kung kailangan ko i-take yung NCLEX exam ko. But I, I'm already working as an LPN. So parang sa akin, ang inisip ko, it doesn't matter kung may pasok yung NCLEX right away or hindi. Kasi meron akong job as a full-time uh, licensed practical nurse. Kumikita ako ng pera. So, December 15, tapos magpas yung Christmas, magpas yung New Year, hindi pa rin ako nag-aaral ng NCLEX. And then, I bought this book sa isa kong ka-workmate, ka which end up, sa aking bookshelf na hindi ko rin naman nagamit. And then, one of my co-worker also lent me her, uh, para siyang reviewer siya, sa Hearst Review dito sa Canada, which also end up in my shelf, na hindi ko rin nagamit. And then finally, one of my friends who, uh, na nag study rin for NCLEX, sabi niya, nirecommend niya sa akin yung UWorld. So, ito guys, nito a sponsor ng UWorld, tong uh, video nito. Gusto ko lang sabi sa inyo na UWorld, I think, is the best NCLEX uh, RN preparation for me. It worked for me. Uh, nagsimula ako mag-study mga June 2, June 3. Uh, uh, sorry, Ju January 2 or 3. Kasi nga after ng New Year. Tapos, 
sinapuso ko siya. Just imagine guys, I'm working 12 hours full time as a licensed practical nurse. During my break, I have my phone with me kasi pwede mo kong may access to yung uh, reviewer. Pwede kong magsagot-sagot. So, during break, ayun ang ginagawa ko. Before I go to bed, ayun ang ginagawa ko. During my, during my, uh, what do you call this? During my days off, ayun ang ginagawa ko. Wala na akong ginawa kundi review, review, review. But I had to, I had to admit na may mga times talaga na I felt, I felt lazy. I felt na sobrang overwhelmed na ako. So what I do on those days, kasi tinatamad na akong mag, mag -check ng, uh, mag, magsagot ng mga questionnaires sa cellphone at sa computer, is I have this very very good audio uh, file about nursing. So yung audio file na yun, it's Fewer Nursing, F-E-U-E-R Nursing, which is a review na may nag-record noon sa matagal na yun, siguro mga 10 years ago, tapos pinost nila sa Google. So I have this file. That's been sitting on my iPad. At ayun ang ginagamit ko. Ayun na sinasaksak ko sa aking car. Tapos mapapatutugin ko yung review habang ako yung nag nagdadrive papuntang work o pa pabalik ng work. O kaya yun din ginagamit ko kapag nag-walk ako ng mga dogs o kaya pa nag-jogging ako or kapag nag-walk lang ako mag-isa. So, in the, parang mas for me sa akin, effective na yung UWorld and then parang na-reinforce pa yung teaching ng UWorld through that audio file. Uh, you guys can message me sa Facebook ano yung audio file na sinasabi ko pero pagkakalang ko restricted na siya sa pagda-download pero kasi nung time na yun parang 10 years ago na download ko siya for free and then hati-hati siya merong surgical, merong medical, merong mental health, merong community merong basic uh, foundation ng nursing merong pedia so lahat, nandun na siya, covered siya lahat lahat ng gamot, lahat, pharmacology even lahat, ng ABG, VBG lahat, halos lahat nandun na so so, nag-aral ako for one month. Tapos, sabi ko sa sarili ko, so, ano na, February 2. So, one month na yun, exactly one month na nag-aaral ako sunod-sunod. With working full-time, di ako nag-day off. Uh, sabi ko sa sarili ko, I think I'm ready. So, uh, sinet ko yung date time ko for, sorry, sinet ko yung test date ko for February 2nd. And then, nung, Feb before that day, nag uulan ng sobra ng snow. So, ang sakit-sakit ng ulo ko, sobra may migraine ako. So, I asked my mom, Mom, can you give me uh, a massage? Tapos, wala akong binago sa aking routine kasi ayoko mabaging routine ko. So, kung, kung matulog ako ng mga 10 o'clock, kung matulog pa rin ako ng 10 o'clock, if I take wine every night or every other night, I still take wine. Uh, wala akong binago sa aking routine kasi ayoko mabag, ayoko ma, ma, masira yung yung cycle ng body ko. So, nung nag-take ako ng exam nung February 2, umuulan ng snow, ang aga-aga ko doon kasi nga in-expect ko na magkakaroon ng accident sa roads o kaya madali ako kapag meron ng mga traffic. So, nandiyan ako nakapuha ko dyan. Tapos, tinanong ko yung parang nasa, uh, kasi isang, isang room yun eh. Tapos, isang room, tapos may isa pang room. Tama ba? Sa isang room, parang reception siya. So, tinanong ko yung lalaki sa reception, can I take my exam now? Pero yung, ang, uh, ang aga kong dumating, parang one and a half hour akong maaga sa aking exam. Tapos sabi niya, sure you can. So, ang pinagawa niya sa akin is, pinalagay niya yung bag ko sa locker. Tapos yung iWatch ko, yung cellphone, sa isang bag. Tapos, sinilled niya yun. Tapos, tiniklok. Tapos, nilagyan niya na, na parang sticker. Tapos, nag-sign siya. So, nilagay ko siya sa bag sa locker. So, Ang sabi niya sa akin, kaya niya kailangan insil niya itong haligyan na ng parang signature or initial niya is in case na mag-CR ako doon yung exam at tinry kong buksan yun, malalaman nila. And then, tapos nagkaroon na kami ng fingerprints. Tapos sinab, may, may binigay siya sa akin, ito yung mga rules and regulations na dapat mong intindihan while, doing, while taking the exam. So, binasa, bina, binabasa ko, sinatry ko siyang basahin guys, pero nanginginig ako ganyan no? Tapos hindi ko siya mabasa na maayos, hindi siya pumapasok sa utak ko kasi sabi ko, gusto ko na matik na nag-exam, gusto ko na matapos itong araw na to. So, pumasok ako na exam, a day na naman, pinacheck yung packet, kung may mga pinacheck yung sleep, kung may mga kodigo-kodigo dyan. So, dapat wala kang watch doon, wala kang cellphone, kinakapan ako sa legs, kinakapan ako sa paa, uh, pinacheck, pinataas yung, uh, yung pants ko, chinat kung may mga kodigo-kodigo doon, or kung ano man yung mga tinatago kong eklavu. So, tapos iniscan ulit ako. Tapos, bin, uh, pinapunta niya na kasi sa computer. Cubicle siya. Tapos, 
magkakatabi kayo, magkakatabi kayo. So, parang walang walang privacy. Uh, as in, siguro yung, yung isang room na yon ang kasha doon is 8 students or 8 examinees. Uh, so, na, nasa computer na ako, tapos dinidiscuss sa akin. Ito yung whiteboard, ito yung, ito yung portable whiteboard, ito yung marker, lagay mo dyan, pero wag kang magbubura. At the end, at the end of your exam, kailangan mo i-hand over yun sa kanila. Uh, tapos meron din siyang audio uh, na pinakita sa akin paano gamitin which eventually kapag tinake mo yung exam pag in-start mo siya papalagay talaga sa yun tapos papa you e, 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 have to make sure na talaga naririnig mo kasi may mga test siguro na mga murmur sounds or heart sounds uh, o kaya yung mga what do you call this breath sounds na mga adventitious pero nung exam ko wala lang namabas na ganun so ayun diba this is not take na ako na exam in-start ko na yung clip the first thing, the first question, guys, na nag, uh, na lumabas sa mismo NCLEX exam ko is SATA. And I cried. Almost like, parang, parang, naiyak na ako sa lupa. Sabi ko, this is it. Hindi uh, ko na kaya to. Ganyan. Yung parang, hindi ko na, parang, di, I think I'm gonna fail. Tapos, wala ko pinagsabihin kasi na mag-exam ako. Even Brian, even my partner, even my best, uh, I think my, I, I told my best friend, but I didn't tell my parents because I'm scared to fail. Ah, uh, so tinitake ko na tapos sabi ko. Uh, second question is multiple choice, and then sata ng three questions again, and then multiple choice na isa, and then sata ng apat. Tapos sa mga dinakalam sata means select all that apply, and then multiple choice ng dalawa, and then sata ng walo, na walo items. So talaga, oh my god, honestly, hindi ko alam pero in my in my ano sa example sa experience ko i think my estimate is 80% of my test questions are select all that apply questions and may mga questions don about pregnancy about pediatrics about botulism kaya nuclear weapon na hindi ko siya maintindihan kung bakit siya kasama sa exam so hindi ko naman siya review ang ang maganda sa u word kasi guys uh no tinitake yung practice ng u world Pareho siya ng font, pareho siya ng kulay. So, nung tinake ko yung exam mismo ng NCLEX, is parehong pareho siya. So, pareho siya ng font, pareho siya ng kulay, ng background, maganda. So, at least familiar ako. Pero yung questions, oh my God, wala kahit isa sa mga sa U-World na nireview ko ang lumabas sa NCLEX exam ko. So, 74 questions na. So, 74, yun na. 75 is another SATA question. I started my question with the SATA, I ended it with the SATA question. Sata, I sabi ko, this is it, this is it, and then I hit enter. Nag stop na yung computer, and then sabi ko sa sanayan ng shadow. This is very emotional for me because parang I pour my heart into it. I was, I was really ko, oh my god, nag stop na yung computer. I think, uh, I think I failed. Because impossible may pasa ko yung kasi seventy plus percent is sata questions, and it's a sata questions kasi may mal may hindi ka lang mat matik doon na box is wrong na, hindi siya yung hindi siya yung ABC, tapos AB ang pinili mo, pero ang sagot is ABC wala kang, wala kang 75% na makukuha doon, kumbaga kailangan mo mapili is buong tamang question buong tamang answers um, sensya na guys, merong nag ano, sensya na sa sound guys, merong nag uh, gumagawa, gumagawa sa likod so ayun na nga doon guys, so after ng 75 questions is para meron silang uh, survey questions about sa next NCLEX exam. Para sa next NCLEX exam siya is, excuse me, mababago na. So, yun yung ginawa ko for the next 20 minutes. Mas matagal pa halos yun sa mismong exam ko. Kasi yung exam ko is 30 minutes, tapos yung survey questions about 20 minutes. So, wala pa akong 1 hour sa mismong exam room. Tapos, lumabas ako nun. Alam mo yung, tapos na yung, tapos na exam ko, tapos na yung survey questions. Nakagay na lang ako sa computer ko. Parang sabi ko, oh, ano, ano na? Did I, did, uh, what did I do? Parang, tapos, ang problema, ang problema pa nun guys, tinake ko yung exam ng Friday. So, sa, sa Canada kasi, usually kapag tinake mo siya ng weekdays, Monday to Thursday, may receive mo agad, may receive mo agad yung result the next day. Pero may mga, may mga ibang cases na kapag tinake mo siya ng Monday, na receive mo siya within 72 hour period. Pero sa akin, in expect ko, since tinake ko siya ng Friday, marireceive ko pa yung result ko ng Monday. So, Friday, ko siya tinake. 
Saturday, Sunday, I work 12 hours. Monday, Saturday, Sunday, I work 12 hours hospital. So, wala kang ginawa kundi i-check yung, on, yung online. So, kung nag-take na ng NCLEX exam, and alam mo na yung good pop-up, saka sa bad pop-up, i-research nyo yun, guys. I think it's very, very reliable. Uh, hindi ko pa alam yung good pop-up, saka sa... Uh, good pop up tsaka sa bad pop up basically ang ibig sabihin lang na ito try mo i-register ulit yung sarili mo para mag-take ng NCLEX exam mag input ka ng credit card pero mamaliin mo yung uh, expiry date ng credit card mo kapag inaccept yung credit card information mo ibig sabihin daw noon is you fail pero kapag hindi nila inaccept kasi sinabi nila parang may exam ka na parang pending sa kanila ibig sabihin you pass so ayun yung, ayun yung, ayun yung good pop up so nung time ko Adi mas, adi sa Saturday Sunday para uh, ano na ako, uh, sobrang agitated na ako, di ako makapag-focus sa work. Tapos meron akong co-worker na lumapit sa akin. Have you tried this good pop-up, bad pop-up? So tinry niya, ang lumabas sa akin is good pop-up. Pero hindi ka pa rin ako makapaniwala unless I have the results. So Monday, ng 7 o'clock, nag-email sa akin yung CARNA, which is the regulatory body ng nurse nito sa Canada, uh, sa Alberta. And sabi niya, is I passed the exam. I cried, I cried, I cried. Sabi ko sa sarili ko na. Sabi sa sarili ko na, it's, I made it na, parang, parang yung paghihirap ko bilang isang living caregiver, nursing attendant, hindi nila inaccept yung, yung degree ko as, as, a, as a nurse sa Pilipinas. Uh, tapos, pumasok na din yung, yung leakage exam ng 2006. Lahat yun napawi lahat kasi, I am now an NCLEX RN passer. Ayun yung na-feel ko. Tapos, tapos iya ako na iya. Tapos sabi ko kay Brad, sabi ni Brad, what happened? What happened? I passed the NCLEX exam. Tapos, tapos nung ako pala sinabi kay Mami, Daddy, nakakapasa ako na NCLEX exam. Kasi hindi nila alam na nag-take ako na NCLEX exam nung, 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 the day, nung week na yun. So, nung sinabi ko nila, I passed, and then, I, I mentioned to my friends that I passed and then it was it was such it, it was such an experience kasi parang nabunutan ako na malaking malaking tinik and uh, yeah yun lang so guys ayun yung aking story about sa aking NCLEX and uh siguro mag, magbibigay lang ako ng tips dito ng konte about how I prep from my NCLEX exam so guys uh tapos na yung story ko about my NCLEX uh, experience ngayon naman is Sasabihin ko sa inyo kung paano ako nag-prep for NCLEX exam. So, there's a ton of ways or strategies on how to prep for this NCLEX RN exam. If you've taken the NCLEX exam before and you fail, it's okay. Like I mentioned before, uh, there's a lot of techniques and strategies that you can use. But use what works for you. Best friend ko, gusto niya nag aaral siya sa, sa, sa library. Ako, I myself, hindi ako makakapag aaral sa library. Hindi ako pwede makapag-aaral sa tahimik ng lugar. I go to Starbucks. Believe it or not, Starbucks, the aroma of coffee, and then yung chattering ng ibang tao. That, kasi tas nagsasalita ako habang nagtitake ng, 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 ng mga practice questions. That works for me. It may not work for my, it may not work for my best friend, but it worked for me. So kung, kung ikaw yung tipo ng tao na tuwing magtitake ka ng, magre-review ka, is sinusulat mo, go for it. So, Hindi ibig sabihin na ayun yung strategy na pumasa siya, ayun ang gagayahin mo. Let's talk about the duration of the exam. So kung wala kang experience, I would say, kasi I'm very very lucky kasi nag-work na ako as a licensed practical nurse sa acute medical cardiology unit. So I know about most of the uh, common uh, diseases and disorders about sa, sa mga sa res respiratory, sa GI, GU, uh, sa neuro hindi masyado. Uh, sa mental hindi masyado, sa pits hindi masyado, sa cardiac yes, Res uh, respiratory issues yes. So, ay lang naman importante is yung may alam ka sa bawat i bawat iba't ibang mga fields ng nursing. Kasi kung wala kang alam, kasi you know yourself, right? Kung hindi mo alam yun guys, hindi ka pa ready mag-take ng NCLEX exam. So, kung ikaw ay bumili ng book about anong NCLEX, I've tried the Lipin Cot exam, yung puli pink siya. Tinry ko rin yung most pinipinahirap sa akin ng kaibigan ko na napakapakapal, nap, napaka hindi ko siya nagamit. Nalagay ko lang siya sa shelf. Ang nag-focus talaga ako is yung audio file na sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. And then yung uh, U-World. Yung U-World, everyday, I take uh, about everyday 75 questions, 75 questions, 75 questions. And what's good about U-World is 
uh, ikaw pipili ng number of items na gusto mo kung gusto mo siyang timed or not. Uh, um, they have really good rationale kung bakit ayun yung tamang sagot. Another thing about NCLEX which is also good, which is na-mention ko na kanina, is yung font, yung background ng, uh, ng parang mismong uh, example ng kanilang test is the same as NCLEX mismo, kulay light blue siya. What about, also what's good about uh, UWorld is, so nakakati siya sa iba't ibang subjects. Kung gusto mag-focus, kung mahina ka sa leadership and management or mental health or pharmacology, you could tick those box. And then, meron siya nakakati siya systems din siya. So systems, meron siyang antipartum, basic care, comfort, cardiovascular. But guys, if you really want like uh, to, ch to check out UWorld, check uworld.com, tapos pili mo dun yung NCLEX RN. Bibigyan ka nila ng parang sample questions. And then, itry mo, itry mo yung sample questions. If that works for you, kapag naintindihan mo siya, yung rationale niya is maganda, go for it. Go buy it. Ang, uh, medyo mahal nga lang siya, guys. Ito, nilagay ko siya dito. So, for 30 days, this is US dollars. It's $119. For 60 days, it's $149. For 90 days, it's $179. For 180 days, which I purchased, kasi... Kasi hindi ko na-expect na magtitake pala ako ng exam right away. Ang na-expect ko after 6 months pa. I paid $249. Which hindi naman na sayang kasi meron akong uh, colleague sa Atabasca University na nangangailangan ng reviewer. I gave it to her for free. Uh, meron naman 360 days for $299. At meron namang 730 days which I don't know kung sino magtitake ng 700. Kung sino bibili ng 730 days na yun, Which is worth $349. So yung 180 days na binili ko guys which is $249, meron siyang full Cuban questions. I think more than 3,000 yung questions niya with good rationale. And then meron siyang two self-assessments. Yung two self-assessments na yun, no ko nalaman na, oy, ready na ako mag ng exam. Yung first self-assessment is 75 questions and it's timed. And then yung second self-assessment is 75 questions and it's timed. It's mixed. So nung tinake ko yung first self-assessment, ang nakuha ko is 92%. Tapos nagtataka pa ako, bak, how come, nakakuha ko na 92%, parang hindi naman ako masyado nag-focus ng pag-aala, gano'n, gano'n. Tapos yung second set is nakakuha ko na 88%. And sorry sa sarili ko, yeah, take na ako ng exam. So kung mababa yung score mo sa self-assessments, guys, it's up to you guys, kung feel mo na mag-take ng exam, go for it. Pero kung tingin mo na kailangan pa ng more time, don't be pressure sa mga peers mo or sa mga classmates mo na nag-take ng NCLEX. Don't be pressure kasi you know yourself eh. If you need more time to study, go for it. Okay? So, so guys, that's how I'm going to end my vlog. I'm going to post another uh, poll sa ating uh, community channel, uh, community tab sa ating uh, YouTube. And then, kapag hindi ka pa nakakapag-like sa ating Facebook group, it's facebook.com slash TV. Feel free to message me, guys. I try as much as I could na mag-message mag back within the 24 hour period pero kapag hindi, medyo busy ako kasi nag-start ako ng bagong job as an ear nurse so pagpasensya nyo na kung di ako makapag-reply right away pero I try as much as I could na mag-reply at mag-engage sa mga questions nyo so bye for now